Hello friends and welcome to this vlog. My name is Janice Iche and I'm so happy to be here with you. Oh my god, it's a beautiful Sunday evening afternoon. It's around 4:30 p.m. My father just called me. He's just drove he drove back from Mombasa today and he's just called me and told me that my my potter's wheel is here. Oh my god. You guys, my wheel is here. I can't believe it. I thought it would take at least two months, but it took about a month from China. Oh my God. I got the shimpo, I think. I will show you everything. So I was actually on my way there already to go to the gym. This whole past week, I haven't been in the gym, imagine, and my hormones were all over the place. Oh my goodness. I suffered this past week and I just knew that I had to get back in the gym today at least so that I get into Monday good. I needed some break last week, but at the same time, my hormones went crazy. It was like, wow. I don't know if I've ever experienced it like that before. Guys, look at my hair. I'm actually going to get it so, uh, braided today as well. And I'm so, um, oh my God, my wheel. <laughs> So like guys, let's go pick it up and then let's also head to the gym. Um, oh yeah, also I decided to kind of like start doing gym in the evenings because I noticed it helps me sleep better. I've really been struggling with my sleep, especially last week when my hormones were raging everywhere. It was hard. It was tough. And when I don't sleep well, I don't wake up well. My whole day is messed up. I just don't want to go through that this week. And... Oh my god, I can't believe it. The wheel is here. So, welcome once again to this vlog. I hope you enjoy. It's another week in the life. Hey, how does my head look, you guys? It's another week in the life in Voi. And yeah, hope you enjoy. Let's go. <laughs> waiting for someone to come help me get ah, get it out of the trunk let's do this yeah so to transfer to ike pali eat them to bus Oh my goodness. In other news, check this bike. <laughs> in Atosha. Yeah, in Atosha. Thank you. I put number on this stuff.
aku aku cuci ni. Good morning, people. Oh my God, it's Monday. It's a new week. I'm just about to open the packaging for my new wheel. I decided to wait and do it in the morning so I could film it nicely, film it properly, so I can share it with you guys in this vlog. I'm very excited. This week is gonna be a good week. Anyway, let's unbox my new wheel. It's the Shimpo Whisper, LV Whisper, something like that. I'll put the details here. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Let's do this. Confidence, believe me, I am wavy. I need something deeper, money does not stimulate me. Whether you got mansions or got diamonds in your AP. Drama, 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 drama. Please don't tell my mama, I've been smoking my Ravana. Talking a Carlotta's getting loose in the Bahamas. Look at me now, I got a bitch, her name is Karma. I was moving wild, but now I'm Karma. We was on the front line listening to Kendrick Lama. Still the same now, we just blow that ya ya on our charters. 24 to Aussie just to hang with some koalas. Living in the present, still my future looking sweet. Joe the and cherry wine, sipping on that arrow's creek. Please let go of all your troubles whenever you're here with me. And Patience, 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 patience. London born a state girl to international sensation. Can't entry your settings, do not need an invitation. Basking in this feeling, if I must say it's amazing, I'm amazing. Our two worlds and 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 Bougie, 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 bougie. You're everything, but she was just a movie. I got higher standards, don't waste time trying to pursue me. You were trading to let for an artificial booty. That's goofy, goofy, goofy. Tanisha held you down, but you want Lucy. Now she kicking off a fuss like Bruce Lee. Okay, if you love me, baby, why'd you want to lose me? You use me, confuse me, accuse me. It's truly a movie. Guys, my wheel is here. It's a Nidek Shimpo. Thank you, God. Oh, I don't like this, but... You're not supposed to fight with the clay. Oh, there, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Not centered, but I'm just doing. Mm 
You see how quick it is? Oh, wow. This is what I missed. Oh, feels so good. Look. Oh. I think you're truly something special Just what my dreams are Dreams are really made of Let's stay together oh. my boy There's no one like you around Oh baby Oh, oh baby girl There's a star Hey people just finished the 30 minute workout <sighs> I'm kind of beat I didn't do an hour today because I'm feeling really tired actually I'm actually feeling really really tired oh my god so I need to go fuel the car and get the tires filled up and then head home. Oh gosh, I hope the, f the microphone isn't catching this song. Because I need to include this clip. Guys, you see that sweat? Just 30 minutes. But it was a good one. Okay, let's go. I can't really explain it. $265. Guys, Matilda. Check it if you don't believe me. If you're being smart with me, young lady, you're going to be punished. I'm so happy to be watching this movie. I'm definitely going to have to like watch it again and again because, oh my God, I used to watch it so many times as a kid. I just loved it so much and I loved how she, she met... Her new mom. Oh my god. <laughs> Matilda, guys. It's 9 p.m. I'm getting ready for bed. I'm just watching this movie. I'll be asleep before 11 a.m. So I can be up around 7.30, 7. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. I'm a bit tired. Like I said, I didn't do a full one-hour workout. I did... 30 minutes so yeah i'm ready to get into bed actually oh i'm so happy to be watching this movie oh my god 
Wow, love this movie. Good night, guys. Let's talk tomorrow. Listen, you little wiseacre. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. literally changed my outfit like three times because it's a little hot today so as you've seen i was just wedging some clay and then i want to finish hand building the cylinder vase that i'm making it's been a good morning woke up i cleaned i cleaned my bathroom and then took a shower and then came here to the studio and yeah we're just going on you want mansions or got diamonds in your AP Drama, 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 drama Please don't tell my mama I've been smoking my Ravonna Talking of Colada's getting loose in the Bahamas Look at me now, I'm not a bitch, her name is Karma I was moving wild but now I'm Karma We was on the front line listening to Kendrick Lama Still the same now, we just blow that yaya on our tatas 24 to Aussie just to hang with some koalas Living in the present, still my future looking sweet Joe the and cherry wine, sipping on that Arrow's Creek Please let go of all your troubles whenever you're here with me and Patience, 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 patience London born a stay girl to international sensation Cut into your settings, do not need an invitation Basking in this feeling, if I must say yeah. it's amazing, I'm amazing I two worlds in, I two worlds in, I two worlds in, I two worlds in But she was just a movie I got higher standards Don't waste time trying to pursue me You were trading to let for an artificial booty That's goofy, goofy, goofy Tanisha held you down but you want Lucy Now she kicking up a fuss like Bruce Lee Okay, if you love me, baby, why'd you want to lose me? You use me, confuse me, accuse me It's truly a movie
Good morning, friends. <laughs> I literally just woke up and I'm still I'm still in bed. <laughs> so every morning before I get out of bed, I do my my like daily devotion. And I just wanted to share today's word because this is literally what I used to preach all through my 20s, my early 20s when I was out in Nairobi in the music industry i used to preach this to the music people guys those who remember me back those days but they will never tell you the truth about me by the way (laughs) they'll never tell you the truth about me but i used to preach this about about togetherness and community and loving each other and not mistreating each other even my statement when i when i wrote about the assault I went through in Nairobi, the statement was centered around loving each other better. It really was. But since I'm severely misunderstood, the message was never gotten. Anyway, I will share with you this word of today. So this is the book that I've been using. Um, my mom actually got me this book a few years ago but I never used it because you know back then I I wasn't feeling God like I couldn't feel God God's presence in my life I couldn't feel that he was there with me but something just switched this year guys something switched this but there's a video coming there's a video coming about my journey with just what changed okay and how I'm coming to love God this year truly love God. So let's see what the word of today is saying. I'll mind my bookmark. In need of companionship. The word says two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If they stumble, the first will lift up his friend. But woe to anyone who is alone when he falls and there is no one to help him get up. Oh my God. I've literally used these words before to describe myself. Like, you know, I've literally said even on this channel before that I need a friend. And that's what the purpose of friends are. To remind you who you are whenever you you fall down, you know. Listen to this next one. As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. Oh my goodness. That is literally what it's about. Okay? I've been talking about this. And I can't believe that these actual Bible verses, you know, actually, hey, I don't know why I wasn't, I wasn't talking to God before because a lot is making sense for me, guys. One who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Okay. They're good friends out in this world. So today I'm praying. Let me switch the camera. So today I'm praying that my chosen family makes their way into my life. Okay. That I make my way into the lives of my chosen family. The people who can love me and appreciate me the way that I want to love and appreciate too, you know. People who we have the same way of showing each other love. Which is by showering each other with all the love languages, you know. I didn't grow up in an environment or around people who love showing love. I didn't. I, I found that I was the only one around me who was like that okay I've never I feel like I've never really been able to just be myself with a group of girls you know I really want that so I'm gonna pray for that today so guys I'm telling you if you have good friends you better today do something to surprise them something anything anything small or big whatever is in your means to show them that you appreciate them, appreciate each other, love on each other. Guys, if you have good friends in your life, 
Don't take that shit for granted. Don't you dare take those things for granted. A good relationship, good people in your life, do not take good people in your life for granted. Okay? That's my message to you right now. Uh-oh. Yep, yep, yep. Love your friends. Love your good friends. If you don't have good friends, get rid of them. You don't need them in your life. If your friends are not good, get rid of them. <laughs> you don't need them in your life, okay? You need good friends. Get rid of them. Make room for the good friends. Prepare yourself to be a healthy friend also. To be a good friend. Become a good friend. Okay? Good friends are so important. So important. They're the people... They're like God's little helpers. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I want to start my day. I've been waking up a little late. It's like 8.30, past 8.30 now. I wanted to be out of bed by 8, but yeah, I've been sleeping late. But Okay, guys. I just finished brushing my teeth. I'm going to show you how I brush my lips. So usually, <clears throat> right before bed, I put some Vaseline on my lips. Like I slather my lips with Vaseline. <laughs> Okay, not too much. Just enough to feel that, yes, there's enough coverage. Like, it's fully covered. And if it's to come off... Oops. If it's to come off in the middle of the night, like, there's still going to be some left to moisturize your lips till morning. <laughs> you get me. Anyway, what that does is that it softens up all the, the dead stuff. Then right after brushing, I just wet my brush... Yes, I use the same toothbrush that I use for my mouth to brush my lips. Just rinse it afterwards, it's okay. So, I do this. Like, spread your lips. Spread your lips. And then, let's go. ASMR. <laughs> brush. The tough kidogo too. And when you're done, your lips are so smooth. So smooth. Rinse it out, rinse the toothbrush well. And put it back. And I swear your lips are so smooth. So smooth. You put Vaseline on right now, it feels like butter. It feels so smooth. So now I'm going to shower and get ready for the day. I'm listening to a podcast, sitting at the wheel. Hey friends, it's around 1 p.m. right now. I'm on the wheel. I started by trimming the pieces that I made yesterday. Uh, they dried so quickly overnight, so I didn't get to like attach handles. But yeah, uh, I want to make another little vase today. I'm really practicing. See my setup, my iPad over there. I'm really practicing... Um, yeah, practicing how to, you know, make on the wheel. So, yeah. I think I'll spend uh, an hour or two here. Then I have to go inside and cook before heading to the gym. Okay. Oh, my God. Thank you, God. I'm just sitting here like, thank you, God. Can't believe it, but so grateful. All right. Let's get to it. <music>
Round it all, make a best stuff. Edit it all, make it seen on scene. Under it all, no you scheme on me. Hotty million with a million on me. I wanna manage with the picking on me. Turn that bass up. She want more to taste up. Get it all, pretty little bitch. Give me pretty, give me nana. Take me to Nirvana. Gosh, this has literally been me the whole day, guys. The whole day, since yesterday. Actually, for two days. <laughs> for two days now. Oh, my goodness. This song has me in a chokehold. I get so tired these days since I've been working out in the evenings. Y'all, I'm so impressed with my, like, diligence and commitment. I think that's God's work. I keep saying this video is coming, this video is coming. Actually, I think I'll have made that video before I post this vlog. So we'll have talked about God. Hey, I'm not trying to be like obsessive. You know, I feel like I'm, I'm really learning. Oh, I'm really trying to find my balance in everything in my life right now. Especially now that like I'm trying to work but then i'm like i'm finding that i'm neg i'm negligent in like other areas since i'm showing up fully for this one thing ah, it's like i'm really trying to figure out the balance and yeah it's taking some time but it's okay i'm here for the journey and I'm just grateful for like where we are now. Oh my God, it's crazy. A lot has changed in like two, three months. Wild. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Oh my God, I'm so grateful to God. That's crazy. Anyway, so today I just practiced. I'm quite tired. I practiced on the wheel a bit. Um, and then I went to the gym and then I did an hour on the treadmill. 
and then I passed by the shop and grabbed some ice cream actually I'll go get it and show you and have a bit I also got some uh, teasers I used to be able to like gobble these things down but now my body is so sensitive I can't finish a whole pack at a go so yeah I'm actually watching Kelly Stamps channel a Christian channel <laughs> I don't know this is so crazy I don't even know what to tell you guys but <laughs> change happens people change and if someone doesn't change there's something wrong with them let me say it right now if someone doesn't change in life like they're just the same character the same person the same the same you know they've not worked on their issues they've not healed it's just the same Problems they've had since they were young. They have the same problems. It <laughs> the same, the same. The same. Wh what is the word? Flaws. Character flaws. Maybe I'd say I'd call them. The same character flaws you have. You Since you were a little teenager or even younger. Are the same ones you have until today and you're in your 30s 40s 50s like grow the fuck up it takes long but like i feel like i'm late let me tell you guys i feel like i'm late there are people who are much younger than me who've come to this like realization <clears throat> and understanding of life much sooner than i have you know i'm literally almost 30 i'm a few months to 30 so there are people in their 20s there are people in their teenagehood you know i used to see people who like valued themselves i didn't even know what value self-worth and valuing yourself i didn't know what that meant until my literally my late 20s guys okay so i think if I want to be an embodiment or an example of something. It's really this because I'm really teaching myself self-worth, you know. And this is certainly something you're supposed to be taught by your caregivers, the people who raise you up, you know, how to value yourself. And it's really tough when you weren't taught that. And also people don't talk about it. It's like, okay, well, the world I, that I was part of <laughs> and the world i'm still part of you know people don't talk about valuing themselves and the things they would do to give themselves the kind of life that they truly deep down in their hearts desire you know not settling not settling because a lot of people settle okay so i'm just like it's so hard when in your immediate life with friends or family you haven't really seen that or when you saw it it is something that they had to compromise something not easy to compromise something of yourself you know that you have to compromise to have this thing and that's the thing i feel like i've always rejected like if i have to compromise myself to that degree i don't want it and I've really held out a lot of my life. No, in my late 20s. Once I started learning what self-worth is and valuing myself and it really, truly discovering what self-love is. Because I used to say in my early 20s as a teenager, no, not as a teenager, in my early 20s that I love myself. I love myself. But really, I didn't know what that meant. I had no idea what that meant. Okay. And that's because you can't love yourself when you don't value yourself. When you don't even know what it means to have self-worth. Okay? And this comes from all these crazy traumatic childhoods that we have. And... 
for me, it took me so long to discover because I was still like really trying to dig myself out of all the darkness of childhood trauma. And I was trying to swim from the bottom of the ocean, literally to the top for all these years until I went through that huge trauma of sexual assault that he, that's what really shook me up. And it's sad to me that it had to take something that severe for me to wake the fuck up. It's sad. It's really sad to me. It had to take something that severe for me to wake up. For me to stop being a doormat. <laughs> For me to start learning what it actually means to love yourself and value yourself. Because actually, this is a thing. This is a thing. Those people I was hanging around, they actually valued themselves. They valued themselves in that they thought about themselves. They put themselves first. You know? They put themselves first. They thought about themselves first. Me, I was there thinking about them, thinking about them. I wasn't thinking about me. And now guess what? They're thinking about them. You're thinking about them. No one is left to think about you. I learned that the hardest way you could possibly learn that. And it sucks that I had to learn it that way. It really does. But anyway... We've actually learned the lesson. Not saying that there isn't any more lessons to be learned from that whole situation, but there's been some, there's something else that happened also that I haven't told you guys. Maybe I will talk about it. I don't know when, but I know I definitely will talk about it. But something else happened that also just gave me the biggest revelation. Okay? And. <clears throat> I'm truly growing from all of this. I really want to leave my mistakes in the past and <clears throat> learn from them and outgrow them and overcome them, you know. I'm working so hard to be that person I imagined when I was young, when I was like under 10 years old, maybe 10, 11, 12. When I thought of myself in the future, that person, that's the person that I'm trying to be. So, you know what? I'm, I really do want to just make videos all through this journey. They may be vlogs, they may be sit down videos, all the types, you know. I just want to really document my life. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here with me. I do feel like some of you on here can really resonate with me. And that means a lot. And even if people weren't watching these videos now at this point, because also I, I diverted from trying to make YouTube my career, like my main career. So, you know, I lost track of what I was trying to say, but guys, I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. Like I do every year. I feel like I just climb a step higher and closer to my higher self, closer to God, that's crazy, oh my God, and I've really enjoyed witnessing myself on this journey, witnessing my potential transform into reality, so guys, I came to check on the pieces that I made today, they're upside down, this one has a crack. Actually, I made this two yesterday. Today I only made 
I only managed to make one little piece. It's a mug, I'll show you. So this piece is okay. This one has a crack. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. But it's only on the outside. Let me show you. Inside it's okay. It's a little thing, but yeah, the base is actually really, it's too thick. I could have pulled the clay a lot more. This one is fine. I tried to pull, I trimmed it actually before taking it off the wheel. Inside it's, what's that? Oh yeah, that's not a crack, it's just the clay. They've been drying so quickly, but this one's really cute actually, I love that one. Hmm. this one I might throw it in the bucket the reclaim bucket because of that crack and also it's just too thick at the base it's heavy for no reason this is what I managed to make today I'll clean it up tomorrow it's a little mug the pieces oh okay let me just leave it because not really dry yet I made this one today so you can see it's still a little bit wet it's nice though I'm gonna cover it back up because tomorrow I want to be able to clean it up Maybe this handle could have oh it's already dry if I move it right now it's not going to be okay <laughs> okay so let me cover that back up this may come this may come with some Stop me with this song. Some get peas and some get rice and peas. I know, I know. It's hard to make. Hey, yeah. You did everything you can. Listen, like again, you already know, time is the biggest luxury. Because I'm here at home most of the day, I have no excuse but to learn great recipes. Yesterday, I whipped together this delicious like flaky cod situation. That's what I call every meal, just a cod situation. I was gonna bake it and I ended up pan frying it, but I just put a little panko and I was like, yeah, need some parsley, put some parsley in there. It would have been better with Parmesan, but I'm trying not to eat cheese because like I wanna enjoy my skinny South Florida life and that with some rice i just threw in some citrus and it's a really simple meal guys it's not rock science but the thing is most people don't have time to craft these little recipes unless you wake up soon. some get peas and some get rice and peas i know i know it's high demand yeah yeah you did everything you can be in your skin guys this song is now haunting me in my dreams full shade full shade full shade done did it no full shade got me god this song it's out your hands yeah you did everything you can good morning guys it's thursday actually please don't get tired of me singing that song because i'm not tired of it yet 
I'm not tired of it yet. I love that song. Oh my God. At first when I heard it, I was like, what is this weird song in the album? The second time I heard it, I was hooked. Hooked. Fushai. <laughs> Fushai. Anyway, so it's 9 a.m. I'm just washing my gym clothes because I only have literally two, two, two sets. I have only two sets. So I wear one one day where the next set the next day and then the morning of the third day i have to wash the two sets then i repeat the the cycle over again so i'm actually washing them in the kitchen sink i just it's too hot outside right now like the sun is right there in the washing area i don't want to get burnt anyway i'm gonna wash this uh go hang them real quick and then have a little bit of breakfast and then head out to the studio. Some get peace and some get rice and peace. I know, I know. It's hard to mend. Yeah, yeah. You did everything you can. And when it, okay, enough. Enough, right? Enough. When it's hard, you'll be there. Guys, this is clay that I'm going to reclaim. It's in water. Um, so like clay that I've used and failed <laughs> with, I just throw it in this bucket. And this is my clay stock. I had a full bucket. This is where we're at, but this literally it's like over here, but I have built some stuff. It's crazy. Actually, I thought I had used more clay, but I have a lot more left. So when I finish this clay, it's going to be time to get more clay. Yep. I'm over here, um, just getting ready to throw. Yeah, I want to make vases. I made a mug yesterday. I made a tiny cute little face. Oh my god, it's so perfect. I showed you last night. It's so perfect. It's dried perfectly. Oh my goodness. I'm excited for that cutie it's so cute and small so i'm trying to make a bigger vase today wish me luck friends i have to destroy this little baby because it's too thick at the bottom let me show you it's too thick last night i showed you that it cracked so i'm gonna break it and throw it in dun 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 the bucket 
was embodying who I wish I could be or wish I had. And instead of continuing down that vicious cycle, how I chose to embrace it was to move towards the things that I wanted. Rather than sitting and sulking in my own shit and constantly complaining about my life, I chose to take responsibility of it and start actually doing things that I love. And now I live the life of my dreams every single day. I also find that I have shifted my mindset and my perspective on self-hate. So rather than hating on myself, I just view myself as a work in progress. I no longer hate versions of myself that are insecure, that fall short, that make mistakes. What I view her as is, again, I'm remaining a mystery to myself. I'm learning as I go. I'm growing in love with myself. I'm finding the meaning and the I have tried to suppress my sexuality. I, again, have been a trauma victim who was sexually abused. I did not know how to navigate my abuse. So in the early years of my teenage, life and trying to figure out who it was that I am, I is enjoying it. I'm not going to sit here. Good morning guys. It's Friday 8 a.m. I'm in the car heading to the gym. I didn't go to the gym yesterday guys. Yesterday evening. I was a little tired. I haven't been sleeping well lately. I've been sleeping terribly like four hours every night. So but I'm trying to use the energy I have to just work work work. Yeah so I, I slept late last night and yeah I decided I had decided from last night that I'll come to the gym in the morning since I didn't go in the evening. I'm trying to see whether I like evening time or morning time better. Honestly, I prefer going to the gym in the morning because of the effects it has on my body. Like I go to the toilet easily. I go to the toilet better. And I just have energy after the gym and stuff like that. As compared to the evening, I don't go to the toilet as well in the mornings. And... I come back home with the energy and it's time to go to bed so it's really weird but I prefer evening time because it's good for my schedule actually it works very good for my schedule so I'm gonna figure all this out okay I'm figuring it all out this week and next week I'm figuring it out so let's head to the gym okay we see a tunnel vision baby I'm down for the fun you see a whispering in the sun I make it easy that way Baby, it's all the same I know this is pain You're still the one reminding me That the birds and bees have history guys i'm trying to connect the wi-fi my ipad usually has an issue with connecting i, I, I woke up early this morning i don't think you're heard me i woke up early this morning i don't think you're heard me i woke up early this morning i don't think you're heard me i woke up Early this morning, I still ain't seen the sun. Oh, 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 o
devotion on the treadmill today. Ah, I just jumped out of bed this morning and grabbed my phone. I didn't like that, so I brought it here with me. We'll start with this and then watch something on the iPad. Guys, let's read that last paragraph. It's saying, Hey, Paulian, takwan kihema hema, because I'm literally working out. I'm closing the door on the joy stealers. I'm dead bolting that puppy and guarding my happiness and my peace like it's something precious because it is. Joy isn't what happens to me. It is what happens through me. I'll count whatever happens joy because I know the plan of the enemy was at work and today he loses. Blessed, blessed are those who learn to praise you and rejoice no matter what. Guys, wasn't I talking about this in the previous vlog? In the previous weekly vlog in Voy? How I've really just been learning how to like not let people impact the way I feel. Only me and God can move me. Do you hear me? Only me and God can move me. I'm not gonna be, you know, swayed by other people. I'm so grounded within myself and within my faith and within my belief. I just listen to other people talking, especially if you're talking to me about me. I'm like, <laughs> I can't listen to you because you literally have no idea what you're talking about. So, in that sense, it's very easy to like keep my happiness and my peace secured. Like, I can't hear people. I can't hear you. I can't hear you if you're talking crap at me. I literally can't hear you. So, go try someone else. <laughs> anyway, I'm so happy. Let's read the Bible verses. Count it all joy, my brothers when you meet trials of various kinds for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy i came that they may have life and have it abundantly amen blessed are the people who know the joyful sound they walk O oh lord in the light of your countenance in your name they rejoice all day long and in your righteousness they are exalted happy is he who has the God of Jacob for his help whose hope is in the Lord his God thank you God now I'm gonna pray and watch some TikTok. just finished the workout it's 9 30 a.m. and um, my Mombasa vlog just dropped guys go watch it if you haven't yet okay let's head back home For many, it's easier to envy these women than to confront their own insecurities or acknowledge the place where they feel lacking. They don't want to confront themselves. Like, you'd rather be envious of someone than do the work. Mm. You'd rather be envious and compare yourself to someone than do the work. And who are you to believe that someone doesn't deserve what they have? I don't care what anyone says. I don't get envious. I never get jealous. I, you know me, I'm always going on a tangent. but. I don't get jealous. Why growing up I was naive because I didn't know people could be jealous because my parents did not raise me that way. So instead of saying, well, everyone's a bit jealous. No, everyone is not a bit jealous. You're not taking accountability. Not everyone is jealous, actually. Woo, guys, the part where she said, that's why growing up I was naive because I'm not a jealous person. That's me. Okay. That's why I've been hurt so much because I literally couldn't believe People could do the things that people do, okay? Because I'm not that way. And okay, for her, she actually credits her parents for that. But I don't credit my parents. I want to give myself the credit that I deserve, okay? 
a lot of my good qualities I actually got from the books and magazines and I used to read like oh what what is it called crush magazine I, I oh. The UK one, it was so good. It taught me a lot of things. The books I read, you know, because I was a a lonely child. So I consumed a lot of media at a really young age. And it was like reading, a lot of reading and listening to music. And that's what I credit my character to. And also the kindness that my the woman who raised me showed me. The kindness that the woman who raised me showed me. Those who know, know. But I loved her so much. I felt like she was kind. She was really kind to me. And until today, I remember her kindness. She passed away. I'm not speaking about my mom. My mom is alive and well. <laughs> but the woman who raised me from like being a, like a little baby to, you know, around six, seven, I think around there. That's when she left us. Um... She also, I credit my good character to her and a lot of the media I consumed, okay? So, for me, when I see someone who is the person that I want to be or who has things that I want for myself in my life, the first thing I think is, wow. So, someone can get that. Someone like me can get that. Someone can me can, like me can be that person, and then it really just inspires me. It really just inspires me and motivates me to do something with my own life, okay? I didn't know that there were people who, when they see you, you are the type of person that they deep down, deep down wish they could be. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> deep down, the person they wish they could be Instead of feeling inspired and motivated, they get so triggered in a way that people, they don't even understand themselves, by the way. They get so triggered, like they start acting in a way that is maybe even surprising to them. Okay? It might even be surprising to them. But if it's happened a lot, no. But you know what? (laughs) You don't meet people who ignite your soul like that just often. When you're young, you actually do. Because when we're young, I think we are exposed to so many different types of people because of school and whatnot. When you're younger, you are exposed to so many people. But the older you grow, the less you tr- you meet like truly genuine people. People who light your soul on fire. You know what I mean? I consider myself one of those people. And I'm not trying to brag or anything. I'm not trying to blow my own trumpet. I just want to... Say, I want to speak my strengths, okay? I want to speak my qualities and my values that I admire in myself. Because, you know, I'm <laughs> I'm not one of those people who has people, like, telling them frequently or ever. Or ever. Okay? I really have to do this for myself. So, you all have to allow me, if I say the good things about myself, because I need to hear it. I need to hear it because, you know, I'm just thinking it in my head. I know in my head that I'm good at this and this and this. I'm very good at that. Like it's effortless and people notice it in me. But all types of uplifting words, by the way, I've been getting a lot from a lot from the word of God. I've been getting so many uplifting words from there about me, like things that I agree with, you know. For a lot of my life, I've been told things about me that I didn't agree with. I was like, "Mm, I'm not someone who doesn't know myself. And the way you're talking about me, it doesn't align. Actually, I know myself and I am not that. And usually, all the time, someone has tried to tell me, Icha, you're this, you're this. They are literally speaking of themselves. They are telling on themselves with the exact words, guys. (laughs) so crazy how this happens it's such a trip but when this happens i just understand that this person is triggered because i am shining a light on their darkness i am shining a light on the parts of themselves that they've worked so hard to keep hidden 
And guys, this is not the first time I'm talking about this on YouTube. I have a video on my old, my very first channel, my very first YouTube channel called Letter to My Haters. <laughs> I've been understanding this more and more over the years, okay? Let me tell you guys. Hmm. Don't joke. But I just love being validated by other women who've been through what I've been through. Not many people talk about this. And when you try to talk about this, especially because usually we are in the wrong places. That's why these things happen to us. I don't know if I say wrong places, but... Not wrong place. I mean, usually we are at a place where we have not learned the lessons that we need to learn to understand the value of protecting ourselves. Okay? By the way, until now, I'm not sure I'm reaching the right audience. So I want to just put this out there right now, especially if you're a girl and you're feeling my messages and you're feeling my vlogs and my content, and you're a girl, you're a woman, oh my God, or you identify as a femme, a femme identifying person, okay? Please just subscribe, like and subscribe so that my channel can reach more people like us, okay? More sensitive girlies, okay? More people who think, more women who like to think about life and things and intellectualize. Okay? <laughs> because that's the content that I... That I... Um, I take... That's the content I watch on YouTube, okay? That's the content I watch on my Instagram, on my TikTok. That's the content that I'm, I'm surrounding... Oh my God, my skin is actually glowing. Look at that. You guys, actually, I put that sunscreen. The sunscreen I'm using is really good. It's really, really good. I think I'll put a picture right here. That's the sunscreen I've been using. I tried a new one from the Neutrogena. I was using Neutrogena before, but this, this new one, actually, I'm really liking it. It's so moisturizing. Like your skin says, your skin stays so moisturized all day day and it feels so smooth it's literally glistening i think i put some sunscreen here so that's why it's because the rest of it huh i don't know if the rest of it is glistening oh my god it kind of is oh my god my skin is just doing well guys it's the exercise it's the tea i told you about in my weekly voy vlog I'm not saying anymore, okay? I gave you everything. Everything. Take it for your own good. If you know what's good for you, take it. That's why my skin is glistening, yo. And you know, I was getting skin tags because of PCOS. Naona zimepungua sana. Zimepungua, they're falling off. They usually fall off. They like dry up and fall off. It's so weird. Okay, but they're little ones, not big ones. I, I don't get big ones. I, like behind my neck, skin tags because of PCOS. Anyway, ah, I just, hey, once more, I want to thank God for choosing me. <laughs> I want to thank God for choosing me <laughs> to be me. Okay? Because I really would not want to be any of y'all bitches. <laughs> Okay, so if you look like me, subscribe and like and comment, okay? Please, I want to build a community of like-minded people, okay? All right, thank you so much for watching. Hey, friends. Oh, my God, it's actually 6 p.m. Ah, I have done nothing today, nothing. I just hung out with my cousin, who's actually my auntie, <laughs> Dina. Oh, my God. It's been so nice having her around. Oh my gosh, she's from TZ. Dina, if you're watching this, I love you and appreciate you so much. Oh my God. Anyway, we just hang out. <laughs> yeah, I want to do some more editing though. I'll edit probably all night. I have so much to edit you guys because I need to post content. I have so much content that I need to post and it's just so much to edit because I have so much that I've filmed that 
has just been sitting. I need to edit them and like just drop, 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 drop. Someone's at the gate. It's food for the chickens. Nilisema <laughs> niko shambani, okay? Anyway, guys, the craziest thing just happened. My caretaker comes knocking on the door. The caretaker, my mom's caretaker for this bomber. Comes knocking on the door. And he's like, Janice, I've just come from Amatatu, from Mundani. And they were playing your music in it and talking about you. I was like, what? Are you playing me right now? Are you? <laughs> These guys were saying how. Her name is Janice Iche. Nim Taita. Nim Tuetu. She's an amazing artist. Alikuwa naishi Mombasa. They were talking about me, guys. In a matatu. A random matatu. Going from Mundani. Coming to Voy. That border guy has a smile on his face. <laughs> In a random matatu, guys. They're playing me and they're proud of me. You know, I have no idea that my music is being played, by the way. I have no idea. And this, oh my God, it's really warmed my heart because, especially here in Taita, what, oh, first of all, I'm just asking myself, how did they know that I'm Taita? Walijuaje? <laughs> but clearly, there's someone spreading my gospel around here. Anyway, this was so heartwarming and flattering, you guys. Just, he was like, I didn't know you are a musician. You know, people love your music. People love your voice. I'm like, you need to stop right now. You need to stop right now. He's telling me how I need to get back into music. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, do you guys understand what it took for me? To give music up as a career and redirect my life. They're like, oh, people ask me by the way, why, why are you not in music anymore? I'm like, why? <laughs> anyway, this has taken a tangent because he doesn't know my history in the music scene. But. Guys, I just want to let you guys know, it was really, really hard for me to stop doing music. Guys, can you imagine even after the assault, after being blacklisted in the industry, being shunned from the community I was so deeply part of. After all of that, I went ahead to teach myself how to DJ, how to produce. I produced my own album. Damn, I wasn't making money. I wasn't making money. My album ma didn't make much waves. But I, you know, I think secretly a lot of people have listened to that album. I just have no idea, by the way. I have no idea. And that's the thing about being an artist. You never know. You have no idea and you will never know unless someone who your music, your art has touched literally comes to tell you your art and your music has touched me in this way. We never know. We never know. We never know. Like for me, I am completely unaware that I have an audience in Taita. Matatus. A random mata. Oh. <laughs> How did that happen? How did that happen, guys? How did that happen? Someone needs to tell me who is who is who is playing Janice Iche out in these streets. Cause thank you to that person. Thank you to you. Okay. Because really, that was so nice just to find out. Ah, yeah, it's just great. It's just great. I'm just like so happy. Anyway, I'm going to edit and um, yeah, call it a night. I filmed a lot of talking today. I hope you guys don't mind. Ah, That's why I just want to start a podcast. I just want to start a podcast so I can put all these talking segments in one place because I get so deep with y'all and I'm like, I don't know if this is actually the audience for that. 
like I said before, if you feel my videos, my and especially if you're a woman, please, because I want to reach them girls. I want to reach them girls. If you're a woman and you feel my message, you feel my videos, you feel my vibe, you feel my content, you feel my YouTube channel, just like and subscribe, okay? Like and subscribe. I'm closing my eyes for emphasis. Like and subscribe. So that I can reach more people like us. More people who want to have these conversations. I'm so tired of being in front of the wrong audience. I don't know what about me attracts the wrong people. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I want to attract the right people. People I can actually be in community with. People I can actually have conversations with. The kind of conversations that I want to have, which is about life, you know? People who are not afraid of themselves and their shadow selves. People who face themselves, who are facing themselves. People who are making the right choices, the right decisions for a better future, okay? We are dealing with all of our issues and our pain now so we can be free in the future, okay? Trust me, you know, let me not get into it, but a lot of people really treated me like I would never make it out of the dark. I would never make it out of the mud. I would never make it out of the darkness. Like I would always be in the darkness. But one thing I always knew, one thing I've always known all my life, I know I struggled so hard with depression. Oh my God. I struggled so hard with depression all my life, but I always knew that I would make it out eventually. Eventually. It was either like through the ground or through life. Okay? I was going to make it out either through the ground or through life. Through living. And praise be to Jesus. Glory to God. I have finally begun living. I have finally started living at in my late 20s. Is when life is beginning for me. I'm okay with that, by the way. I'm okay with my journey. I'm so grateful for my journey because ain't no other me, baby. Only me, me. <laughs> okay, guys, let me go. Hey, I've been chatting too much. I've been chatting. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, my goodness. God bless all your journeys. God bless your life. God bless your life. I pray for blessings over your life. Whoever is watching this, whoever relates to me, I'm praying for blessings over your life. More blessings and everything, I'm praying for you to get everything you wanted and more than you could have even thought of. Okay? We all deserve it. Hey! We deserve a lot in this life. And if you feel that way, you're, on the right, you're in the right place. Okay? Over here, we are working on giving ourselves everything we deserve. Yeah. Don't settle for a small life if you are big. Don't settle for a small life if you have a bright light. Don't settle. Take however long it takes. Work towards it. Constantly. Always. However long it takes. Be dedicated to your growth and your evolution. This is the makings of. Okay. But whoever hears, hears. Okay. As someone who makes content like this, Nikuja point, by the way. Nikuja point. Nikujituma. There's no one who's going to send you to do what you know you're good at. Hey, how did we get here, guys? Bye. Love you. Work ethic is top notch. I like to juggle things. You know, when I shop fight night, I did Coachella. So when it comes down to it, I will do any and everything. So just know it's never. Guys, I'm dying my eyebrows. Or if I don't want to do something, because y'all know I love working.
Now, this is kind of unfortunate for Chloe. It's really unfortunate. He doesn't come. Right there. Uh, he is, is that money goes into performances. So, it's not free to do performances. And you have to get budgets approved and things like that. So, if I could, I'd be performing everywhere. Guys, don't mind my hair. I just took the lines out. I want to wash it. I want to dye my brows first. Eh, I feel bad for Chloe. Industry is messed up, y'all. No one needs hair. Ben was mad at me for dropping out of the industry. Anything you guys have a question like with what I'm doing or anything, you know my work ethic is top notch. I like to juggle things. You know, when I shop fight night, I did Coachella. So it's really unfortunate how her project Trouble in Paradise. I love that album. <gasps> that was so fucked up. I loved it. I do realize that she really authorizes the budget. And I think Parkwood's job is to really promote her and put her out there. But neither label has really prioritized her this time around. Now, with her album in pieces, she was a lot more visible. She had features. She had performances. She had a lot more promo. And I believe at the beginning of her solo career, the label seemed to be a lot more enthusiastic mm -hmm. in pushing her. But that so she's giving the fans what they want and she's also doing what she loves and because she stays consistent it's tough though hard, it's it tough when you have goals and dreams for your music career Guys, I look like that drug rat kid. <laughs> this Sunday, I think I want to close off the vlog here, by the way. I started editing it. The all the footage came to like more than two hours. I was sure. Like, I knew I vlogged a lot last week, but damn. Anyway, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. Oh my God. I know I'm looking crazy right now, but... <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shower and then close the vlog probably. <laughs>
I know how to pivot, but I don't know how to do it fast, babe. Oh, I'm not a fast person. Oh my God, I move so slow. And sometimes I really feel like it's to my detriment. You never know what's gonna happen tomorrow, right? So people that are able to think fast and who are resilient in life are always gonna succeed. And I noticed that, I'm gonna take me for example, when I was younger, I noticed that whenever something in life happened, I was very quick on my feet to adapt and change my situation so that I don't ever sink, you know? I've done a lot of crazy things all on my own at a very young age. So I think that once you learn that skill of, once you learn that skill of thinking fast in life and always knowing how to pick yourself back up, you almost can never fail in life. You literally can never fail. Learning how to always keep yourself afloat no matter what and put your pride aside when life tests you at, and, and leaves you at your rock bottom that will show you whether or not you are able to succeed in life when life tests you the most to the point where you are literally rock bottom you don't know where you're gonna get your next dollar you don't know you don't know anything but you know that you're resilient enough to pick yourself up figure something out and always push through. So that is what I would like to call the resilience test because resilience test will really show you whether or not you are built for this shit. Okay, whether or not you are built for life. Life, you are able to trust the process. You are able to let things unfold how they're supposed to unfold and not worry about whether or not you're gonna get what you want because you already know you're gonna get what you want. Once you learn things, Life is actually so easy because you already feel like you have what you want. You already feel detachment. Once you learn to detach from the universe, the universe then notices that you are no longer holding on to an outcome because you already know that it's yours. You already know that whatever you desire is already yours. You don't need to worry. You don't need to think any negative thoughts towards an outcome. Friends, these are my cute little successful pieces of this past week. They're so cute. Oh my god. And I store the pieces up here on top of my closet so they don't get any interference. Yep. Okay, friends, that brings us to the end of this vlog. I actually just made some sweet kettle corn let me show you my popcorn everyone i make it for loves it it's so good maybe i should post a recipe on my channel so i didn't vlog it because this vlog is already so long anyway thank you guys for watching thanks for being here with me i'm sending you so much love i'm gonna take this next week to just like edit i have so much backlog of videos that i need to edit and post so i'm gonna take some time to do that i won't film for like a week because i need to check i i don't have even space in my devices to film anymore <laughs> let alone to like export some videos so i have to edit and delete some videos before i can export this vlog so i need to get to that um besides this other work i'm doing this week i want to just really go hard on my daily schedule and um yeah just get a lot of work done we're spending the evening relaxing planning for the week ahead and it's sunset time it's lovely colors outside once again thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed make sure you join the family oh my god let's all be friends okay <laughs> let's be friends subscribe so we can keep in touch okay i uh, so i love you all thank you so much for being here with me i'm praying for blessings upon all of your lives and I'm sending you much love. I'm signing out. It's Iche. Catch you in my next video.